Hey guys, Jarek here, gonna be doing some Halo 4. This time we're doing some Capture the Flag on Shatter, which is one of the new Crimson DLC maps. Now, this isn't a full Capture the Flag game. I had a pretty decent game, 28 kills and a few flag captures, but uh, my team lost, and as a whole, I just didn't want to upload the whole game, so this will have to do. So what I started doing immediately at the beginning of this game is get to the enemy team's sniper, because people love to go to the sniper on this map for objective game modes, and it majorly messes me up, so I wanted to get to it before they did, before trying to capture anything. So yeah, I didn't say I was going to buy the Crimson DLC map pack, and I didn't. If you don't know, and this has been pretty widely reported at this, at this point, there is a glitch in the system that lets you download the Crimson map pack for free, completely legally through Xbox Live, and here's how you do it. Instead of going into the Mark Place on the Xbox Live dashboard, boot into Halo 4, and there should be something in the Halo 4 title screen that will say Xbox Live Marketplace or something like that. It'll have a star next to it because the map pack just came out. Go into the Xbox Live Marketplace from there, and it should show up as zero Microsoft points, confirm purchase, and you download it for free. Seriously, it's that simple. Instead of going into the Marketplace from your dashboard, go into it from the Halo 4 title screen, and it's free. Now, I'm pretty sure what causes this glitch is all the codes they've been giving out. Because I tried this before I entered in the specialization code that they gave me, and it didn't work. I added in that code, which this code is supposed to do nothing more. It's, it's a lot of free codes they've been giving out. It's supposed to do nothing more but give you like armor pieces or some abilities. Uh, basically in-game stuff, but not the DLC map pack. And I don't know why, but it's causing a glitch and making it free when you go into the game. That's a pretty damn big fuck up by Microsoft and 343 when you can start downloading stuff for free. That's supposed to be, what is it, 15 bucks? It's 800 Microsoft points. I don't know what that is in dollars. Um, I hate their stupid needless point system that they have. But yeah, you can, you can get it for free. Uh, major mess up. So... That's what I did, it was, I had no plans to buy it, but I got it, so I figured I might as well play it. And what's my opinion on the maps? So the maps are, they're better than the original Halo 4 maps. I didn't hate the original Halo 4 maps, with the exception of Complex. If you're one of those people that likes to cloak and hide in the back of the map, or camp on the roof with the DMR, go fuck yourself, that map sucks. Uh, but other than that, the maps were pretty good. My only complaint was that there's too little of them. There was barely any maps in Halo 4's launch. And there was no Forge maps to be seen like there was in Reach, and they promised us you're going to have Forge maps, but those have yet to show up. And in fact, Forge is still kind of a mess. You can't really download from other people, there's no browser, you can't share it as easily as Reach did. The maps, the Forge maps themselves are a lot smaller than Forge World. I'm not complaining too much about that because they look a little bit more interesting to me. Um, but I don't know, Forge is just, it's disappointing in Halo 4 compared to Halo Reach because... You can't share it as easily. You can't share it at all, hardly. So they really, really need to uh, uh, kind of pan this out. I'm hoping they'll patch it soon so we could really get the fullest out of Forge. But as of right now, we're not seeing anything. So that's a little bit disappointing. But yeah, other than that, um, the Crimson Map Pack, is it's pretty good. If you are on the line about buying it, I would say go ahead and buy it because you kind of need some more maps for Halo 4 for that reason. But they're done well, they're balanced well, they're not too annoying, there's close range areas, there's long range areas. They don't actually look as bland as I thought they were going to in the DLC trailers they had. Everything looked brown and dull and boring, but when you actually go into the game, they're not actually that brown and dull. They're actually pretty cool looking. So yeah, uh, there you go. If you were waiting to get the map pack and you were on the line about it, go ahead and get it. So they did also add in a few things. Really, this is the only complaint I can complain about the map pack. It's just that the playlists are fucked up. And this is a complaint about Halo 4 in general. I don't know why they decided to make the playlists like they did. Why is there no regular free-for-all Slayer? Why is it objective game modes? Uh, their choices are odd. The fact that they keep having to replace things to add in something new. I don't know. It's, it's dumb. I don't know why they did the playlist this way. But it remains true for the Crimson DLC map pack. They added in a playlist. And it's a wild assortment of everything possible. It's, um, you can get Infinity Slayer, you can get King of the Hill, you can get Capture the Flag, you can get, you can get Extraction, and what I wish they would do is make it two different freaking, two different playlists. Have Crimson Slayer and then Crimson Objective, so that people that want to play Objectives and people that want to be, play Slayer can be split up, because I only want to play Slayer. I don't really care about Objective game modes. So, Stop mixing them in. Not that there's anything wrong with the, not that there's anything wrong with objectives, but what I want to play Slayer, I want to play Slayer. I don't want to play objective game modes. That said, they added in extraction, which I really like extraction. 
Extraction is a new capture and hold type of thing they added in. And it's, it's a much more old fashioned capture and hold. So basically each capture point is a server and you have to extract information from the server. It takes about 40 seconds after you, uh, you run up to it, you hold X for 5 seconds. Starts the extraction, takes about 40 seconds or so. And if you actually protect it that long, you get a point. The team with more points wins. There's about five different capture points on the map. Very straightforward, much simpler. I like it a hell of a lot more than Dominion because I get tired of being killed by a freaking incineration cannon every five seconds in Dominion. But yeah, it looks like that's about it for this game mode, uh, for this gameplay, for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and you'll probably be seeing quite a bit more of Halo 4 and a lot more of Killing 4 with the Twisted Christmas stuff happening. So I'll see you guys then.